Hi guys, my name is Sharvansh and thank you for watching my the other videos and uh, where you was learn about the SSM tutorials. So this video is about how to deploy package. So let me start this video without wasting time. So in this video, what we gonna learn it that I will show you. So here uh, we are planning to deploy the package and uh, it will be like a end to end and the deep dive of how we can deploy the package so we gonna follow some uh, steps here uh, why i make it uh, that uh, if you are going with the process and to be followed a few steps uh, the package will be deployed perfectly so let us see what are the steps we are going to follow here so create a collection and add machines where you want to deploy the package so first thing you should be the sure where you gonna deploy your package so first step will create a package or oh sorry will create a collection and there will be adding the machines and the second thing we gonna create the package in SSEM console then we gonna distribute to DP then we gonna create a package program uh, uh, create a program to install the package and then we'll deploy to the package deploy the package to collection or the deploy the program to the collection and check the policy on end user machine whether the machine are getting the policy or not and then check uh, check package available in the software center and then run the package from software uh, software center and then it's check the logs to be sure package getting installed so what are we gonna uh, check the logs and all i'm gonna explain in this video for everything how you gonna verify the packages get installed or not and check the ssem report okay guys so let me go to the console and here is my console so as i told you first we're gonna create a collection so let me create a collection and i am giving the name is google chrome so i am giving the limiting collection and here i want to a direct membership rule and just i am adding a one machine that i have test for now next next and close so it up to you guys how you're gonna create a collection and if you are in confusion how you will create a collection so you can watch my the other video where I shows how you can create a collection so let me just refresh it okay so I have the one machine which I added here okay so now my the first part is done let me go to the slide and this step we done it now second thing is we're gonna create a package okay so let me go here in software center packages sorry app under application and the packages and here i'm gonna create a package right click and create a package that is google underscore chrome and i'm gonna use the 80 version here you can mention it this so this is a google chrome package deployment manufacturing is by google and language english and version is i'm gonna use is 80.0 okay so now here is asking for the source file so let me go here and i can show you the i have created a software deployment folder so let me just share this folder and wherever you are having source file just share it and give the full rights and even i want to add my account which i'm gonna use it to deploy this application so that is ssem and I give in the full rights so it should not be create any issue now here is we come back to source file and source file is I'm browsing it and giving here SSEM lab 
sorry let's say cb lab So here what we can get we have the software deployment our folder and the google chrome so let me select this folder and inside i have my the application now i am not gonna create any program i will create it later so now i create my package and i can see it here it's a google chrome 80 version so let's see what we did it here our next step is done now what we'll do it will distribute the package on dps so let's follow this and here you can see in it in the summary he this package is not deployed to any of the dp program there is no program and deployment also nothing so now right click and distribute the package distribute the content next and here if you have the distribution group in your production you can give the distribution group i have only my the the distribution point so i am giving my dp and this is what i done it for okay guys so my the package is distributed uh, now I can see in it green and it got success and my the second step is done. So I have distributed my package to DP and it successfully distribute on DPs. Now I am going to create a program to install package. So let me go here and create a program here. A right click and create program. So I am going to create a standard program. I click. And here is Google Chrome, Google underscore Chrome. And now what is the command line? So command line is, I'm not gonna use it very complicated or with the package standard, just I'm going to use the install command. And here is like how the my package will be installed in a hidden view and uh, it's if you selected here like a normal minimize normal in the senses it will uh package will show you on the screen so don't select it when you are in the production you just selected the hidden mode and only when the user logged on just select it whether user logged on or log off so in the any situations the package will be um installed okay so run it from uh, the unc name okay fine and here i'm gonna select it all program if you want to restrict it with the specific os you can select it here and here is the size just i am giving the random time uh, random size is like i needed 200 mbs and the run time is 15 minutes so what is the run time is after this run time that uh, automatically package will stop if it is if it is installed that's fine if it is not installed then it will kill the process and package will be terminated now go to next and now my program is created to install the google chrome and then my this part also done now what is next next is uh deploy program to a collection so let me go and uh, deploy this program to my collection a uh, right click and deploy and here i'm gonna give you my the collection name google chrome and then next and uh, this is the my distribution point it already published my package already published to distribution point and then the next i'm gonna create it available to show you guys even you can deploy as a required mode if you selected required mode then directly it will go to the machine and it will install so now uh, this is a uh, when the package will be available so i am giving the current time in my the it will take a system time here and if i want to expire the package package expire in the sense after this time period my package will not be available in software center 
or it will not be installed it will be like expired mode and uh, if it is showing also policy not updated in software center it will not trigger the installation so let me remove this and next and here is like a outside the maintenance window so let me select it but uh, you don't select it the system restart required in your production i'm not gonna use it change the committed maintenance window okay so here is the point uh, where uh, we are selecting run from the distribution point so if you are having a huge size package which is not possible to copy over the lan and so you can select it for run from the distribution point and uh, this option is used when the huge size and uh, the package huge size and you don't have the enough space in your cache. Suppose so you have cited like a 5 GB cache size in your infra and your package size is uh, 6 GB or 10 GB. So in this case, your package will not download in cache folder. It will, it should be run from the distribution point or else you need to increase your cache size. Or else it will gonna fail so run it from distribution point and now uh, content run it from the or uh, run download in locally and uh, run it from distribution point so allow this option if you're selecting it will be uh, like uh, it will take a package from the default boundary groups so now select it and next and next and now I turn it my uh, deployment and uh, now my policy should be available on my end user machine after some time so now let me mention it turn and here is check the policy on end user machine okay fine let me go to my test machine and here It's little hanging. Okay, so let me log in here. Just I'm putting the password. Fine. Now, what I will do it as I'm in a lab and I want to show you the quickly all those things. Let me go to the control panel and let me first run is the machine policy so my client will get the policies immediately i think my machine is not good c o n t r o l control panel Now here is configuration manager. Let me open it. Okay, so now go to actions and run the machine policy okay i run it and now i am going to check my logs so logs always will be in cgi windows and ccm logs and here is a log uh, policy evaluator let me open the log and i can check out whether i'm getting the policy or not when the last policy updated is uh, one o'clock and six minute fan it is started okay so i trigger here 
SNS policies and here is apply policy for B021. So let me check out what is my uh, package name and the deployment ID. So my package name is uh, B0. 0007 and the deployment ID I can find out here. My the package ID, okay, and uh, I do have the one minute, which means something wrong. Sorry, I should be here in the deployment. So I'm getting the deployment ID is B0120001. Let me check out whether I have to have the same policy. So uh, I have my package and deployment ID here. So that means is I got the policy for my package. Okay, so now uh, my the next step is completed. I verified my policy is done and now I can check my package should be available on software center. So let me open the software center. Okay, so let me check out how it's showing here. So my package should be available in my software center and then we gonna trigger the installation from my software center. Okay, so yeah, it's good and uh, I got the policy and uh, it's showing my applications under the software center and now I click on that package and I um, can see in it, uh, I have an install button here, so I can just click and uh, see the installation. And before that, uh, I should be open the logs, it's, uh, I should be open the cache log, and I should be having the data transfer log. So data transfer log will shows you from where your package is getting download. So my the download path is uh, this uh, cblab.once.com at each slash tp and this is the package is gonna download it. And it will download in the cache folder. So now let me see the cache folder as throwing some error. Uh, that's fine, we'll check whether the package is get downloaded or not. And uh, the final log is like uh, exe and zr. So I need to check out my exe and zr log to be sure whether my package is getting installed or is there any problem. So here let's start read the package. So uh, my the command line is uh, command line equal to this and it's I uh, want to run it from uh, this folder. So let's check it out whether the package got download or, or not in my the cache folder. Let me go here. And push. I want to go to cache. Okay. It's like little hanging. And I have the package name is one. And yeah. So my package got downloaded. And uh, so I, I will tell you the things. How you gonna track your package. First we check the policy evaluator. And uh, I got the policy. And then it's showing in my the software center. Uh, now I'm, I'm gonna close this log and uh, let's monitor the other log in the cache folder So here is all I'm getting is this is what the, my package ID and uh, How I can check it in the cache folder it's showing dot one So now that my package got stored in cache folder the folder name is one when uh, we deploy we download any package in the cache folder it will be in a own format it will not be like with your package id 
so that's how you can track your package in the cache folder and uh, the second thing is we can validate our package is getting download or not so to be uh, ensure that package is from where it's getting download you can check the uh, data transfer log so data transfer log it's showing like download a uh, successfully completed download and then the final log is we need to validate about exemcr.log so here we can track all the package installation what we deployed and we triggered it so uh, in this log we'll find out what the command line it gonna choose it to installation and uh, uh, what the status for that package so i used it install command uh, slash this package slash install it will be in a silent mode command line stays and finally what i'm getting is updating the request so now i can go and check it out here it's showing like installation so still this package is getting installed okay guys so now it got installed and uh, it's showing to me in software center installed and let me check out the logs again so here is i can see my the program exit card is zero so uh, this uh, google chrome is installed successfully and here i can see in it my google chrome is launched so let me close this and let me close this and now i'm gonna verify in the control panel whether it's got installed or not let me refresh it again set Click back. Okay, so my Google Chrome is installed with HT version. Now I verify and validate it in the logs and uh, the control panel. So now let me go to uh, update the cheat is a software package it was done. And now here it is run the package. We done this and now check the software install and the package getting installed so these logs also we checked and we verified in our control panel program and features so now we can check out the record reports finally so here is uh, my the SSCM console and this is the my client so client work is done and it got installed successfully now I can run the application and deployment evolution so it's gonna submit that application in 22 SSCM now let me go and we can see in it here uh, the deployment status so it still is showing the 0% compliance but it will update after some time so here is we can see in the number of success and uh, in progress so in progress is nothing still it has not updated and now i can go to the uh, monitoring and the deployments so here also i can find out what is the my status so here is showing is that zero status is not updated yet let me run the summarization and we'll get the actual report so it was not updated the data yet i have updated on uh, the last modified it uh 1233 okay so now the my package status is updated if you want to check accurate data you need to run the summarization so it will update uh, the data under the database so now uh, it's showing the success for the one machine and now this part is done and i'm gonna show you the reports from where you can check it out so i'm going here software uh, distribution and here is a package and program deployment 
and the all package you can go and the specific program also you can go here okay i'm giving the program name my the google chrome select it and run the report okay guys so here it's showing the my deployment name uh, program name and the source the package id now i'm gonna click it here to get the more details over about this status so now here is showing the accepted one the policy was accepted only the one machine and it got succeeded on the one machine so now here is my the program uh, percentage of the resources now a hundred percent it got installed so guys i hope you have learned end to end process how we gonna deploy the package which logs we gonna check it and how the policy is getting replicated to end user so thank you for watching this video keep watching uh, my videos and i'm gonna create some more interesting video for you about ssam okay guys so thank you for watching this video see you soon in my next video